guys and welcome back to another video it's Ben here uh, and we're glad to have you with us uh, for another game two in two days for me um, and we're here at Froomtown there was a cancellation with Warminster unfortunately the pitch was frozen at Almondsbury uh, so we made our way down to Froomtown uh, to watch their game against Sirens Hester and it's sure to be a banger of a game first versus second Froome first Sirens Hester second um, what a clash it's going to be um, and we're really looking forward to this one. Uh, we have very little knowledge of the teams, so we're, we're learning as we go along. Um, but that doesn't stop us uh, just enjoying the, the spectacle uh, of the game. Um, and I brought along with me my mate Ethan. You all right? Um, What's up? And he's looking forward to this one. Yeah. It's a pretty good replacement of Walmart's Town, first versus second room. So, yeah, it should be a good game. It should be a good game. Yeah, we're really looking forward to this one, and we'll be back in just a second for our predictions. But if you haven't already, like and subscribe down below. Go on, do it. You know you want to. Uh, join us on our journey as we go through football, vlogging the games. So go like and subscribe. It's awesome to have you guys with us. And we'll be back in one second. So we are at Froome Town versus Sirencester, uh, and uh, prediction-wise, it's first versus second, one point in between them. I believe Froome on 46 and Sirencester on 45. Um, so this game really m basically means who's going to be top of the table uh, going into next week's fixtures. Um, it's a home game for Froome. Been the best side. I I'm going to say Froome. I think I'm going to go 3-1 uh, for Froome Town today here at home. Um, and what do you think, Ethan? What are you going to go for? You know, what? I'm going to go big. 4-3 to Froome. I know it sounds Ooh. bad. Yeah. But I thought, why not? You know. There's a lot riding on this game, first and second, pretty much title deciders there. So, yeah, why not go big? Good game, good turnout actually, lots of fans. Everyone knows it's going to be a good game, it's just up for the players to turn up. I'm sure they will. Yeah. yeah. So, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, join us on this journey, and we'll be back just in a second when the game starts. Oh. Go on. Oh. Oh. That was awful challenge. I reckon there are studs in that. <laughs> it is 1-0 to Sirencester. I'm not convinced they deserved it, but there we go. That's how it works, that's how the game goes. There you go, that's the end of the first half and it has ended 2-0 uh, to um, Sirencester and yeah I mean I'd say that Froome were the better for nearly 25 minutes of that could have had a penalty to start off and a red card um, for Sirencester for an awful challenge but yeah they just didn't take their opportunities and Sirencester capitalised and got two quick goals and as it stands Sirencester are going back top by two points so yeah, this is interesting. Interesting. What did you think? What I will say is 2 0 does not reflect the game at all. Like, it's been so open. Um, Froome have had their chances, you know, they've created stuff on the wing. What I will say is the juice up Voldemort, my gosh, has he got a foot on <laughs> That was one of the best free kicks I've ever seen in my life. The 
turn on it was incredible. You know, he scored a header as well. Like, all their goals have come from set pieces, so... Yeah, it's a very open game. I believe Froome will score. If they can come back, I don't know. The Cyrus will look very good. Like, everyone switched on. No slackers, so... Yeah, should be interesting. Yeah, so we'll join you in the second half in just a second. See Oh. 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 So it's ended 2 0 here. There was a massive amount in the second half, a bit of a fight at the end there. Um, yeah, I'd say Froome were quite disappointing in that second half again, just that lack of end product there was clear to see. Um, and yeah, brilliantly, Sirens have to saw it out. And yeah, can't really say much more about that other than they played well, great defensively. Um, didn't let uh, Froome onto any, any loose balls and that was it. That was the story of the game. What do you think, Ethan? Yeah, I'll commend um, Sarich's work rate because it was unbelievable. No one, you know, slacked. Everyone was on their job, barking their man, cutting down the balls. But yeah, it's just um, Froome couldn't find the goal. That's all it was. Like, they were passing the ball, all right. Um, just, yeah, they get through into the box now and then, but they just couldn't get it in. But yeah, credit to Sarich there. And that was the most intense non-league game I've ever been to. Yeah, yeah, it's quite something else. Uh, if you uh, haven't already, like and subscribe, join us on our adventure around uh, football grounds all around the country. Uh, we're really loving this, and we've got some epic content coming up. So, like and subscribe, and we'll see you very, very soon for another episode. It's been, we're the way we stream massive. It's been nice having you. See you soon. <laughs>